Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to make large scale realistic terrain in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. First, we need to get some software. So obviously we'll need Roblox Studio and the other essential program that we'll need is Quad Spinner, which you can get at quadspinner.com. We'll need one plugin for Roblox Studio, which is MeshVox V1.0, and then some other optional things that you can get uh, you can get Blender if you don't already have it, Substance 3D Painter for painting the um, the terrain, and Part to Water in case you like animated cartoon water. All right, first download Quad Spinner, install it, and then let's open it up. All right, once it opens, you can click on this X here, and you start with a blank slate. I recommend going over to the right side, clicking on first person, and you can use WASD to, uh, to zoom around the world as you create your model so that you can see depth a little bit better. The way this works is it shows you your model up top, and then you have a toolbox on the left side where you can grab out some different nodes and assemble them on the graph to generate a 3D model. I'm just gonna start with a mountain. I'll place it down here. You can see it's not really much of a mountain, but over on the right side, you can adjust some of these properties for the mountain and you can manipulate this until you find the um, height and the scale of the mountain that you are looking for. All right, that looks pretty good. There are, um, there's so much to this program and I'll be honest, I don't know everything about it. Uh, I recommend just uh, spending some time to drag the different nodes out and uh, experimenting with each one. But uh, just to show you what the program is capable of, um, I like the mountain, but let's say I want to add a canyon. I'm gonna find canyon over on the left side. I'll drag it down as well. It's created this canyon here, but I'm gonna drag the output from mountain over into the input of canyon. I'm gonna click on canyon. And then I'm going to manipulate some of the variables until I get a canyon that I like. All right, perfect. This is uh, what I'd like for uh, my mountainous terrain. And the last thing I'll need before I export it is I'll drag all the way down to the bottom of the toolbox. And then we want measure. So drag measure out feed the output of your final um, node into the input of measure and then click on measure or on the right side we'll have two different spots here that we'll uh, we'll want to configure so first for measure properties um, I like to set my format to wavefront obj and then for scale um, I like to do one unit equals one meter for structure, I keep it as quads. I don't tick create walls. Um, and I believe I keep create texture cords on. Level of detail you don't have to touch as well. Inside of build, you'll go to resolution and you can select 2048. It just depends on how big you'd like your terrain to be. I'm going to go with 1024 for this build. All right. When you're uh, finished, click on start build. Then select the folder that you'd like to, uh, to export to. All right. Next, open up Roblox Studio. This is a sample that I made earlier for the thumbnail, but um, once you adjust the skybox and you start to paint it, uh, it, it really can start to look quite nice. Okay. Inside of Roblox Studio, click on New, and then just choose Base Plate. Inside of here, I like to go into Workspace. I click on Base Plate, and I delete it. I also click on the Spawn Location, and I delete it. And then I go into plugins. Inside of plugins, click on mesh box. Under load from, click on OBJ. And then load from OBJ. 
click on measure, click on open. Here you'll have some different options. Um, under generate from, click on source. And then you can adjust uh, if you'd like it to look like rock. I recommend um, clicking on grass here, filling with grass, and then clicking generate. Okay, perfect. Once it's finished generating, you can go above your build and you can see what you've now imported. From here, you can go inside of Home and then click on Editor under Terrain. Inside of here, you can go to Edit, Sea Level, and you can adjust your sea level. Once you have your X, Y, and Z, you can click on Create, and this will add water to your map. All right, once your water is generated, you can go inside of the edit tab again, click on paint, and then you can paint uh, your terrain with any of the materials that have already been provided here in the material settings. So anywhere where you've put um, water, you can click on sand, adjust the base size for your brush, and then you can simply click and drag to add sand or to add any other materials to your terrain. And as we get closer, you can see just how high definition this is. It is bumpy, but for the most part, it looks great. And you can use a smoothing tool in the terrain settings in order to smooth this out a little bit more. Or you can also do that inside of, um, inside of Quad Spinner. Once you add your models, you should be left with a more finished product. And so this is what I have. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also comment uh, some of your favorite uh, terrain editing tips. That way I can learn some more as I continue on. This is my first week of making Roblox games and I hope to improve a whole lot more before I see you next. Alright, thanks. Bye-bye.